A lot of well-known brands use pre-orders and back-in-stock notifications. Albers does it, Polaroid does it, and even Lacoste uses it to keep momentum when stock dips. They've learned that customers are happy to wait as long that they have the option. The real risk is when you don't offer pre-orders and that's when people land on that out-of-stock page and with no option, they just bounce. You lose sales, your marketing spend gets wasted and all that traffic you worked for ends up going straight to your competition. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up pre-orders and back in stock alerts step by step. And remember the brands I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'll be using the exact app that they are using to set up pre-orders. If you're new here, my name is Christian. I spent over 10 years helping stores grow and improve their sales. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and stick around because I'm going to show you a trick big brands use to turn anyone who sees that pre-order button into an actual sale. So let's say that you have a product on your Shopify store that is out of stock. This product is really popular and these two sizes in particular, and that's why it got sold out. Now, if a customer comes to this product page, they can't do anything. So they will just bounce probably if they are looking for these two sizes because there is no option for them to get notified when the product will come back in stock. Maybe some people will come back after a while, but most of them, they will just go to another vendor or they will find an alternative to this product and you just lost a sale. So all that money that you spend on marketing, on ads and everything else got wasted. The people got to your product page, but they couldn't do anything there. And that's why it's so important to have a pre-order option or at least a notify me when back in stock option. Now, a lot of big brands are using the method that I'm going to show you next, along with the brands that I just mentioned in the beginning of this video. And that is adding pre-orders and notify me when back in stock using the stock app. You can just search stock on the Shopify's app store. You're going to find this app and you are going to install it on your store. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to click on install. In here, I'm going to click install again. And the stock app has a free tier so that you can try it and see if it's for you. And on this screen over here, I'm going to be asked if I want to just enable pre-orders, so the pre-order buttons, or if I want to also enable the back in stock alerts, which is a really nice feature to have. So I'm going to check that also, and I'm going to click on get started. And this is the apps dashboard. You're going to have here the pre-order section and the back in stock section. I'm going to start with the pre-orders and here you're going to have a checklist that you will have to go through. And first we're going to have to enable the app by clicking this button over here. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see, the app was already enabled and we can go now to the second step, which is create an offer in here. We're going to set up when we're going to show that pre-order button. On the top section here, we're going to customize how the pre-order button will look like and various aspects of the pre-order button. And then at the bottom, we're going to select the products that we want to show a pre-order button on. You can select to show a pre-order button on all the products on your store that are out of stock or certain products that you just want to pre-sell. So I'm going to customize first and we're going to select products later. So I'm going to click on customize here and I'm going to see all the details for the pre-order button and the pre-order section. And we're going to start with the widget. I'm going to click on that. And in here you can name your offer. You can add the name for internal use as well. Then you can add text for the pre-order button. Like for example, if you want to say something different inside that button, you can change the text over here and it's going to reflect inside the button. You're going to have the option to add a note at the bottom like that so that people actually realize that this is a pre-order. Even though the button says pre-order, sometimes people need a little bit more explanation and you can add that explanation here at the bottom. And then you can go ahead and customize the button's appearance by clicking here. You're going to be able to change the background color and the text color so you can make it what you want it to be, make it fit your store's color schema. If you want, you can also show a badge 
next to the price there saying that this is a pre-order again it doesn't hurt to add multiple signs that this is a pre-order in case the customer is distracted when they are purchasing this this will save you a lot of headache later then here at the bottom we're going to be able to enable a notify me when back in stock button that will show underneath there so if i click this I'm going to have that button show there. Whenever customers click on this, they will get a pop-up and they will be able to add their email address in order for them to be notified when this product gets into stock. So now I'm going to save the changes and I'm going to go to the second tab here, which is payment. And this tab is really important because it allows you to do what a lot of big brands are doing when pre-selling products. If you remember Tesla, when they launched the Cybertruck, they were actually pre-selling it because they were asking for a small fee, like a hundred bucks. I think it was a lot of people joined. I don't know how many people that had a reservation bought the car or if they were able to get their money back but this was the exact concept instead of me asking for the full price of 150 dollars for a shirt i can now go ahead and just ask for 10 percent of the value of the shirt just to make sure that the customer is invested and the order is backed by something not just pure intent so you can go ahead in here and ask for a partial payment or a deposit and you can select here how much you want to ask. So you can go ahead and ask for 10% now and in seven days, or you can adjust this as you want. You can ask for the rest of the payment because people are actually waiting for you to restock that item. You can also give them a discount. You can set a percentage off the product just because they go through that hurdle of waiting for you to restock that product and do this only if it makes sense for you. Then you can collect the payment manually you can trigger that whenever you are sending your product to your customer or you can do it automatically. This can collect the payment on a specific date or whenever the order gets fulfilled. Down here at the bottom, you can show the discounted price. So if you're offering a discount for the people that pre-order the product, you can show the discounted price. This is how it looks without it. This is how it looks with it. Then you can show or hide this part over here. This actually explains to the customer that they are reserving now and they are going to pay later the rest of the order so if you don't want to show that part you can just hide it i think it's good to explain to people what's happening so that there is no surprise later but if you don't want to show that you can hide it now once you're done you're gonna save the changes and we can go to the next tab which is shipping now on the shipping tab, you're going to have all the options relating to shipping. Obviously, you're going to be able here to set the shipping timeline if it's the same for all products or if you have a different timeline for different products, you can set them from here Then you'll be able to set when pre-orders will ship as soon as inventory arrives or you can define it the way your store works. Underneath, you're going to be able to display a note regarding your shipping. So if you select this, you're going to have this showing here, which has an icon. And then you can change this text to say whatever you need. If you have a particular way you are shipping your pre-orders, you can define it in here and then people will be able to read it and understand it before they are actually pre-ordering. OK, when this is done, you're going to save the changes and you can go to the next tab, which is status and start. And that means when the pre-order period actually starts. If you want to pre-sell a product and you want it to pre-sell it a certain amount of time, you can define that time in here. So the product can be available right away. Right now, they can go and they can pre-order that item. You can set that to be available from a start date. You can set it to be available now until an end date. It can have a start date and an end date and it can be unavailable for now. Because I plan to do this for all my out of stock products, I'm going to leave it on available now and I'm going to save that. Next, we're going to go to the limits and in here you're going to define who can pre-order and what are the rules of your pre-order campaign. First, I'll be able to add a checkbox to have people check it in order for them to be able to actually pre-order. If for some reason your country's legislation requires you to display such a box on your product page in order for your customers to be able to pre-order the products, you can do that from over here and you can customize what it says. Then underneath you can set the pre-order limit. So if you don't want to allow customers to buy too many of your pre-order items, then you can limit it here per customer. 
so you can add a minimum amount and a maximum amount. Then if you add limits and you want to display them, you can select it from over here. Your limits will be displayed right here. You're going to save the changes and we can go to the next tab, which is markets. I don't have markets on this tour, but if you have more markets, you can go ahead and select markets in here and offer your pre-order campaign just to those markets. If, for example, you want to offer this to certain countries, then you can do it from here. If you want to offer it to everyone, then you just leave it on all markets and everyone will be able to see this campaign. Next, we're going to have the sales channels. And if you have multiple sales channels on your store, you can go ahead and select them from here and offer your campaign to the sales channels you want to. Now, after setting everything up, you're going to save the changes and then you're going to close this window. So now we have the campaign set with all the details in here. All I have to do now is to assign certain products to my campaign. And what I want to do is actually have all products that are out of stock, have this widget on them. And I'm going to do that by clicking here on change. So we have here specific products change. So if you just want to address certain products, you can go ahead and add them from here. And only those products will be included in this campaign. Now with this one, I just want to address all my products that go out of stock. And to do that, I'm going to select all products from over here. If you want to exclude some of the products you have on your store, maybe you have some special items that you don't want to include in this campaign, you can exclude them manually from here, or you can add tags that those products have to have as well. So those products will be excluded from this campaign. Then underneath you can track all products, but whenever you're going to enable this option, all the products on your store will be set to continue selling when out of stock. This will allow the app to actually work. So I'm going to select that. Now that I have this, I'm going to add all products and I'm going to click on got it continue. And now the settings will be saved and all my products that go out of stock will be a subject to this campaign over here. I'm going to offer a discount of 10% and then I'm going to give them the option to pre-order the product, only pay 10% upfront. And then in seven days, they will pay the rest of that order. So now I'm going to go out of this campaign. And I'm going to check my, my store for this pre-order button because I see that this campaign is already on and all products that are out of stock on my store should have that pre-order button. I'm going to go back to the product that I started with. So I'm going to just refresh this page and I should see underneath that the add to car button was transformed into a pre-order button on just these two items. So we have S which was out of stock and now it's pre-order M. And then if I go to L, this will go back to normal, how I have it set and it's going to say add to cart. But anyone who wants to pre-order this, they can go ahead from right here. They have all the information they need. So reserve now, pay later. And if you need the acknowledgement, you can set it in here. Then if they go and they click on add to cart, the product inside the cart will actually say that this is a pre-order. So it's going to say shipping as soon as possible, reserve now, pay later. So the product itself has all the details so that customers can be informed and they can know exactly what's happening. So the same thing happens on the checkout. They will have all the information right here. Now, in addition to this pre-order button with the stock app, you also get the notify me when available a button, which right now is displayed here. And if a customer goes ahead and clicks on it, he's going to see this pop up, which mentions the item they are interested in, the one that they have selected, and they can adjust it from here if they are interested in a different one. And then they can add their email address so that they can get notified when this item will get back in stock. Inside the app, in the back in stock alerts, you're going to have all the options for the back in stock notification. You can set everything up in here and you can even connect it to Klaviyo or other email platforms that you may work with, or you can connect it with Shopify flow if you have different flows set up in your store. So this gives you a lot of flexibility on how you notify these customers. So if you're interested in the stock app, you're going to have a link in the description of this video. Okay, now that you know how to set up pre-orders, I think you'll be interested in seeing this video next on how to improve product page conversions. Click it and I'll see you there.